not sure if you're prejudiced. Uh, if you notice there's more black people on television now, on the commercials and on the shows and the movies, you're prejudiced. <laughs> Uh, you worried about that $27 million that's going to uh, the uh, movement for the family of George Floyd? Uh, how much of it is going to go to lawyers? How much of it is going to go to hospital and funeral expenses? And who in the family is getting the money and how much of it is going to be donated to other causes? You know, these are questions people just think, oh, well, let's just pay this off. You know, uh, you can't buy off a life. You know that. We can try. Uh, I have a price. You can <laughs> come on. But seriously, you know, we are a president of society. We we are uh, hard to change. We, it's difficult for us to uh, put on a new skin, so to speak. Uh, I know that there's a story of people. How many are required? In Disney Company, for instance, uh, which incidentally, Mickey Mouse is handicapped and black because uh, Mickey Mouse is black and has three fingers. So uh, they've hired the handicapped and the black people. But you know, when I say the black people, the black black uh, community, black folks, color black, uh, African Americans, I, it, it's so hard, you don't know what to say because any, no matter what you say, it's, it's gonna be, someone is gonna analyze it and say, oh, you know, I mean, people are so judgmental and half that word is mental. But you know, the, the black community now is involved really in so many ways, successful and rich. Uh, we have black president, the number one movie star in the world, the number one uh, golfer in the world, the number one, uh, uh, well, we got uh, Tom Brady is white, I guess, but he pretty close on other football players, basketball players, number one. And, and anything that black people are involved in including tennis or any of the sports uh, they're very rich they're very successful they're very good and when I say they uh, but there's a quota in in the uh, television industry the advertising agencies they, they're hiring black people like uh, uh, over white people you know and I think that's a 60 40 quotient now there's only 13 percent of, uh, of this country is is uh, African-American you know uh, so it's not a majority but we are now hiring people at a different rate. And what's happening when I say we, you know, the ad agencies, the uh, commercial uh, companies, car manufacturers, just about everybody is putting more black people on the, uh, on the screen, on the horizon, on the television, uh, black ownership with uh, businesses that are owned by, by blacks only exclusively, which I don't think is very good. I think that's segregation, but let's not go there. Uh, and you know, you got a whole bunch of black people who are now on a list waiting to be hired in place of white people. How about that? Uh, I think in the uh, uh, CBS television, they, they own BET, which is the Black Entertainment Network. They also own, they have the Grammy Awards, which is mostly black artists. What did they have? Last week was the Oprah thing that was on CBS. Uh, the, the morning show with Gail King is all, all black performance all of the time. Started a while ago with the interviews and now uh, just about every profile is about black people. Uh, they, they are pushing this color balance and trying to bring everybody up to, up to some standard. See, I, I look at it differently. I'm an industry guy and I look at it as being something that we should go by someone's talent and their education and their, their ability to perform a job, not uh, not the color of their skin. But that's a whole, it sounds like a philosophy at this point. And it's, all, it's the way I've lived all my life. I never took exception to anybody's color. I grew up as a, a fat kid in a black neighborhood. So we were the, I was a third base. They used me as a base in baseball. I, I, got, I got that beat out of me a long time ago. Uh, so the other thing is uh, about this quota they seem to have a certain amount of people that they have to hire uh, to, uh, for this uh, in inclusion. And it's all done behind the scenes, you know, corporately, like Apple. You know, they, they have a certain thing that they don't tell you. Uh, they've got a gay thing going now. When I say a thing, I don't want to be disrespectful, but they have a, an organization that uh, uh, is being ba backed by Apple because the chairman of the board is black. 
and you know, I mean, we, we got to know, uh, Tim Case, is he chairman? I think he's chairman, president of the company. But you know, the, the uh, uh, people in the, in, the, in the black community who are up online, there's 60% of white and 40% black. Um, what company was I reading? Was it, was it Verizon that they have that, that quota? You know, and they had they had uh, checked it out and said, oh wait, you know, we uh, we have 70% uh, black and only 30% white. So uh, somebody in the corporation says, yeah, well, fire 20% of them. <laughs> you know, <laughs> this is an amazing, <laughs> amazing grace. Yes, there's no grace in this. This is all about money. And boy, isn't that interesting how it's all about money. It really is. I mean, what, and, and it's not really black and white. It's green. But we've known that for a while, haven't we? <laughs> and, uh, and who do we worship? No, not, not Obama, not uh, Trump or, or the current one, Biden. We worship dead presidents because they're on the money. That's, that's it. Send me some dead presidents. My favorite scene is still in the uh, Danny Aiello uh, pizza joint that he owns in the Spike Lee movie, Do the Right Thing. And when uh, when one of the, it's a hangout for, for school kids, a pizza joint, and one of the kids comes in and notices all the pictures on the wall of Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin, and, and he says, hey, no brother, no pictures of no brothers on the wall. <laughs> so I walk by the TV set now and say, there ain't no white people on the wall. <laughs> it's the same crap. <laughs> it's still about green. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Everybody's happy with this president because we're going to get a check. If the other guy gave us a check, we'd like him. If we, if he didn't, if he would have worn a mask, he probably would have won. I just got a notice that says that my check is on the way. Yeah, oh yeah, I've heard this. The check is in the mail. Sure, direct deposit. <laughs> Wait till they find out that I didn't pay my taxes in 27 years. Just joking. <laughs> IRS stands for what? It really sucks. Uh, it's a Reynolds wrap. 